almost forgot to record. It is, I believe, Saturday the 18th. It is almost 12 p.m. I haven't eaten today, and it is time to eat. I have eight ounces of bacana. The cat's always still an ounce or so, so I made sure to make me some extra. And yes, I burnt myself on the air fryer again. I keep burning myself. But I'm going to sit here, enjoy this, and watch some YouTube. All right, today's hair washed, flipped up like I like, so I'm in love with it. Y'all, you'll notice I like 20s, 40s, 50s hairstyles, um, and some 60s, so yeah, it's working. Okay, I guess we're outside a little today, but it's freezing. It's like 44 degrees, so I have my second cup of coffee of the day. Um, it's like one something. I have, to, I have a Walmart delivery order coming from for everyone but me um, at two or three, somewhere in between there, because you know your girl only eats bacon and butter from Aldi's and only gets my beef from the meat market. So I'm glad I got me all my stuff. I'm all set up for right now. Whew. My legs are killing me. My legs are just, it's going to be a while to get in shape. No matter how much I'm walking every day, they are dying. Okay, time to check the mail. Okay, so let's see what I got from Tima today. Okay, just another pink t-shirt. Y'all will all see my t-shirts I got for $3. So I'm just going to keep it in the bag right now. Another little pillow thing, really small, for under $2. Okay, I ordered all these before I cut my hair, but they'll still be able to work. $2 for a bunch of hair tie things. Scrunchies. Same with these. Wow, this is a lot. You can these on hangers to help hold stuff. When you can stack hangers. More scrunchies. Okay, more of these because I did all this before cutting my hair all off. And then some stickers for Haley. Oh, that was supposed to be pink. It was supposed to be a thing for bear. But it came Willow. in. It was supposed to be bears. Um, a pen for Haley. You can come see them, Haley. You won't be in the video. They can't see you. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, this is what Dina wanted. So this is Dina's little Oh, I got one. Cool. Dragon. Thank you. Look, I got a dragon for Timu. <laughs> hey. You want the box it in the box? It doesn't go bad. I got a little it's dragon. Like, don't get hurt. Or not. Now the small ones is cool. Look at that. Then let's see if it's big enough. I was ordering a bigger cat thing. This is the biggest size they have. It said it goes up to Yeah, it should be big enough. So, we'll see. New cat. Harness. Gotta hold it still. The not lighting is so bad in here. So, don't mind the lighting, guys. Here's another pin for Haley. Gosh. I just don't have to buy cat hair, so. So, she loves the show Good Omens. I think that's what the stickers are. Alright, so these you put on the wall and you hang your flip-flop stuff on the wall. Or whatever you want to do. Oh, Haley, I ended up buying you two of the same pen accidentally, <laughs> so you got another one of those. And more stickers. I don't know if these were Haley's or mine, so we'll open these stickers real fast. This order was under $15. Oh, they're Haley's. <gasps> are those Monster High? Yes. Yes, they are Monster High. <gasps> okay, I can't hold it anymore. You done? Yeah. <gasps> That's it. All right, y'all, I've lost the day because it's Sunday. I thought it was Saturday. Don't know how I lost the day. Y'all, I am trying to walk, but this, I don't really own thick jackets. So I'm done. I'm going inside. I don't care if I've got no steps. I am so cold, it's making me sick to my stomach. I am freezing. I don't know how anyone is out here today. The rest, everyone else is staying out here. I'm working in the yard. Not me, not me, it's in the 40s. And it doesn't help that I forgot to put socks on. I don't know if you can see my ugly feet down there with no socks on. So, so I'm going in and I'm standing. 
stay it in. Plus the injury that I did on my left arm over here is really hurting today. Um, I've been out here for a long time helping with do some stuff and I can't do it no more. Can't do it. And I'm actually kind of hungry, even though I don't think it's been that long since I ate. I might make some picanha soon. Also, you can see I've gotten so red being out here. Because other than my lip liner, my eyebrow pencil and mascara, I didn't put anything else on today. I was already red. Y'all, I'm not going to need blush for some reason. With this hair, the redness comes out of my face even more. Like, yeah. I really, okay, I bought parts for my tripod, but the other pieces are underneath this bed, so I still have to get to them so I can finally have a tripod and not sit here and hold my phone. Okay, so <clears throat> let's have a little conversation of something I've noticed. Um, I'm really happy for these people, but I'm jealous at the same time of Wendy and Harry, Chris and Miriam, um, Rachel and Joe, and so many others because they have a partner in this journey. I have now noticed, including with myself, that when you are in it alone, especially if you're a woman and you're in it alone and your husband is not in it with you, you gain a lot of weight back. Yes, we've all had a lot of medical problems the last two years, and some people are still trying. Some people um, don't care anymore about the weight. Um, I will never be that person. I will never give up. Never give up. I will keep going over and over again. No matter how many times I gain the weight back for... Um, Whatever reasons, I pray to God it never comes back again, but whether it's health reasons, whether it's emotional reasons, whether I did it to myself, I will never stop trying. Like, that is just not an option for me because I feel like shit at this weight. Um, I'm, I'm exhausted carrying this weight around, all right? Period. But I've noticed when it's a couple team, they, they got each other's back. Okay, you don't have one person, oh, my hair's really flipping, but you don't have one person being like, it's just a donut, it's not going to kill you. Yes, yes, it will kill me. I have, like, it will make me very sick. Will I die? Not now, but I could die in the future from it because I'm going to gain tons of weight, my heart conditions are going to come back, my diabetes is going to come back, and so much more. So, yes, technically... One donut is not one donut for me. One donut is 20 donuts. Like, once the sugars hit my mouth, it's a landslide. Landslide. I'm not the girl who could ever have a cheat meal with sugar. Because I can't control the sugar cravings once they happen. Um, so that's why I'm loving this carnivore diet. I have no sugar cravings. It's like a miracle. Um, but it's got to be nice to have someone to have your back. When Dino was doing low carb with me, it made it so much easier, but when he is not, it makes it so much harder. Right now, I'm just ignoring the outside world, the outside voices, the people around me. I'm just, okay, sorry. I am just um, focused on me, but it does make it harder. It makes it a lot harder because... Um, he doesn't want to buy snacks, but then at night he's like, why didn't we buy snacks? And I have to hear it forever because he wants snacks, but he tells me not to buy snacks. So I get it. He's trying to eat healthier and as long as it's on the house, he can't eat it. But then he whines about it all night long. And then I have to hear about food all night long. It's irritating. Um... And he is doing good, just, you know, while well, he ate pizza. But see, the thing is, I was so mad. So jealous mad. Um, He had a whole pizza last night, basically a large pizza from Pizza Hut, fully loaded. Of course, it was the thin crust. Plus, he had his big salad. And he had a pound of steak yesterday. Um, And he had some protein drinks. And some Coat Zeros. <sighs> 
and he lost a couple of pounds. I'll have that body. I don't. It's impossible. He does it all the time. He can eat cheetah bags of Cheetos and pizzas and subs and still lose weight. I, I don't, I wish, I wish, but that's never going to be me. I'm just saying it would be so much easier if the person you're with is on the train with you. But if they're not, hi, welcome, welcome to my channel. We can cry together on being the only one who is eating this way in your family and um, just feeling like, the thing is, I'm trying not to get mad when they influence, like when I have to hear, so when's your next cheat day or blah, 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 and you try to tell them there is no cheat days because you can't, um, like my cheat days in the future will be going to get fajitas, just the meat and vegetables with some salsa. But that's way in the future. And the reason it'll be a cheat day because it's at a restaurant. Who knows what all seasonings and ingredients is in there. And there's some vegetables there. That's going to be my future cheat days. Not that we're going to opening of a restaurant and I'm going to eat the dessert and I'm going to eat the breads and I'm going to... That's... that. Those days are over. Um, And it's really hard because a lot of people's lives revolve around food. Right? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, birthdays, family get-togethers, churches. So much, so much revolves around eating. Has anyone ever noticed that? Like, every family event we have is food. All about food. Um, and everyone keeps asking, including my dad, when can you eat out again? And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for my birthday, I'll try uh, the wings at um, Buffalo Wow Wings because it is cooked in tallow and they're completely plain with no sauce, no seasoning, no nothing. Maybe I'll try because then if I could eat that, then maybe some people will just be like, okay, we're good with that place because they all like it. And we could just eat there once a month or something. And yes, I used to be able to do steak fajita meat with no problem whatsoever, but ever since I've gotten these issues, it's just not an option, not an option. Um, I want to have some gene testing done because there are two um, gene mutations that I don't think my insurance covers it, but my doctor had mentioned it before, um, but I didn't understand what she was talking about, but I started researching them, and they sound just like me. And it would explain, one of the mutations would also explain why I'm nauseous my whole life. Okay, so I know a lot of y'all are concerned because I can't get um, cat stands, stands and stuff like that. I cannot have contrast. Um, and I've been told they will not work without the contrast. Um, contrast lives in your body for the rest of your life. When you die, it will be in your autopsy in your brain. Period. It never leaves you. You can go look it up a billion times. No matter what your doctor tells you, they do not know. Go look it up. It's proven fact. It does not leave your body. Ever. Ever. Um, ever. So if you have a allergic reaction to it, you can have a allergic reaction every day for the rest of your life until it kills you. Or you just can't do anything. Um, like Chuck Norris's wife, for one thing. Uh, but I cannot have contrast. We already knew this. We've always known this. Um, and one reason is they cannot take the risk of me having a reaction to it since it never leaves your body. Like I even had a doctor tell me that and I looked it up myself and it's legit. It does not leave your body. Um, so I can't have any kind of contrast. I've had CAT scans before with no contrast and they've never, they can't see anything. Um, I've had Okay, I can't do Twilight very well at all, and I can't be put to sleep. And I know that concerns a lot of people, but I've lived my whole life knowing I can't be put to sleep. That is a life and death situation. If I am dying, they can try because I'm going to die either way. So they can at least try and maybe keep me alive. So my mom died on the table, and thank God they were able to bring her back and cut her to shreds trying to get a tube in her so she can have oxygen. Um, I'm allergic to Benadryl. 
And what they do is they pump you when you're going to have surgery and you're allergic to that. They pump your body full of Benadryl and steroids for about three days in the hospital before the surgery. I cannot have either. Me and steroids are not friends. They give it to me if I'm having a severe allergic reaction, but I am so sick from it. I get shaking. I... I shake the whole time I'm on it. I am so desperately ill from it. I can't barely can crawl to a bathroom. Um, and Benadryl stops my heart immediately. I like have little bracelet. Like I have the EpiPen. Like I have everything for that because that one, it, it's hard to ever come back from. Um, the emergency room almost killed me with Benadryl. Um, and yes, I've had multiple tests to prove it. I am not only allergic, but I have what's called a adverse reaction. The opposite that it should be doing to me is what happens. I've had adverse reactions to a lot of meds. If a med is supposed to like do one thing, it does the total opposite. Um, I have a lot of problems with that. But see, this, it doesn't phase me very much because this has been my life since I was born. It's generations on my mom's side. Like, I am not the only one. My mom's not the only one. My daughter's not the only one. It is my mom's side going back generations. Okay. Allergies are huge. Medical allergies are the worst. Like, I'm just used to it. I'm used to it. And like the, um... So some of the tests my insurance will not pay for. So that is why the gastro doctor cannot do some of the tests. I'm not old enough. I don't have the correct symptoms. Um, so they will not pay for it. We already, Sherry put in for a few tests and that came back that it, it will not be paid for. And we're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's not happening. Um, and then the one test, if something came back suspicious from the test, uh, they would have to put me under, in which they cannot put me under. She just believes my percentage of um, what that could be is only 1%. So there's no point, and there's a lot of false negatives, there's no point to do the test and scare me since we can't do anything about it if it comes back positive. We can't do the next test to see. It's impossible. Like she said, the percentage for me to have cancer or something in those areas, especially since it does not run in my family on top of it all, I have not been a vegetarian. I have not eaten tons of vegetables my whole life. My percentage is so low that she's worried about doing more damage than good on the tests. So, um, also, you know, I've had IBS DC my whole entire life, um, I do not have SIPO, I don't know what it's called, anyways, I've been tested twice in the last two years, I do not have it in my stomach, and that is a sign of stomach cancer too, a lot of people who have it ends up having stomach cancer, I have been told by doctors, I did not research that myself, um, so, um, also, a lot of the conditions I have, she told me, including ADHD, can cause severe nausea. The severe nausea that scares everyone, I've had my whole life since I was a baby. She said it would be scary if it was a brand new thing and I never had it. I've had it my whole entire life. My whole life. The whole throwing up on the toilet with a bucket and diarrhea, my whole entire life, even as a small child. Um, and I have been diagnosed multiple times in the past with mast cell activation syndrome without being told. I was told mask, and I didn't know what that meant. They were just like, here, taste some loratadine, you'll be fine. Or one time I was put on steroids, and what? And I didn't understand what that meant. But this last time, I know what it means now, thanks to TikTok. I never thought about looking it up. I just thought it meant I had a little bug, right? Like I had um, mono or something. But... No, it actually means your cells are um, not as incorrectly. I knew I had it when I had my uterine issue. Um, and I needed surgery for that, and they couldn't do it. Um, they gave me a very light twilight for a procedure, but I... They had to have it so light that I was awake most of the time during it. Um, we won't talk about how painful it was because I was having to be awake because they couldn't twilight me any more than they already did um, because of that issue. And so they also know that I do not, um, twilight doesn't work properly with me. The only one I can have does not work. Um, I 
I wake up the whole time. Like, there's no putting me under enough. I can have full straight conversations with you and I feel the pain. So that's why they can't do some of the tests. And like she said, a lot of them aren't, aren't paid with my insurance. Not at this age. Um, so I'm okay. I'm okay. And I've been doing a lot of research and it takes a long time for a carnivore to completely reheal yourself. So we're just gonna, gonna keep going and stay away from dairy right now. That, that That's my theory. But yeah, hold on. I'm gonna sneeze again. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble from the shampoo that they gave me to use. Um, the purple one. Um, it's the smell of, it's chai, cheese, something like that. And I washed it out multiple times afterwards because I cannot take the smell. I swear my hair, okay, it's the lighting in here. Let's get to some better lighting because right now my hair is looking really dark in here. And I'm like, I just paid a fortune. There, that's better. So I kept to mention, you can still see I have dark in here. Um, we just put a bunch of highlights in. And then today, I spent a long time curling this today to do the flip. So I used a hair dryer circle brush to just flip it. But it's falling because your girl doesn't like to use hair products. I'm not going to lie. I use the ones like replenishing, oil bonding, like to make your hair not have damage. But I don't use hairspray. I don't use gels. I don't use mousse. So, whatever stays, stays, and whatever falls out, falls back down, because I ain't gonna do it. I'm a minimalist when it comes to my hair. Um, that's also why I'm starting to light the cut better. I really don't, I really don't have to do too much. Um, I can leave it straight, I can just blow dry it, I can put it in a ponytail, even though it's really short. Um, it still goes in the ponytail, but... Anyways, I just wish I had a partner in crime on this journey who was eating with me. Or at least, I don't know. Because I can't, I can't like, I, I, it's hard listening to them talk about carbs all day. Not that I want it. I'm just sitting here thinking how unhealthy my family is and they're eating carbs. And how much more healthy they could be. But... Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm going to go make me a coffee. My last coffee of the day because I'm trying to have my last one before 5. And I think it's almost 4. Let's see. Yeah, it's 3.30. So I'm going to go ahead and go make it and have my last coffee of the day. All right, let's see if I can show you all this without a tripod. So this was my favorite jacket all winter long. Um, like in December, early January, November. I barely could zip it. Barely could zip it. In some months, like days, I could not zip it at all because I was too swollen. So, this is what we got going on now. Not only can I zip it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, that's exciting. You want to see my pants? These are ridiculous. Okay, these were really tight. I have them rolled up on my waist. Like, multiple roll-ups. Because they're huge now. And when I mean they were tight, I mean they were tight. So to me, I haven't lost enough weight, like 30 pounds. And when I lose 30 pounds, it's usually not like gigantic amounts of inches. Um, which means I lost way more inches, especially in my legs, butt area. And Dino is complaining because he doesn't want my butt to go away. Um, then I have weight. 30 pounds was a lot, but the inches are way more than 30 pounds. So that's why we're not even using the scale, because the scale, for all I know, might not have gone down anymore. I'm going by inches. I'm going by the clothes I was wearing, the jackets I was wearing, the, the tank tops that were tight. My tank top I'm wearing right now, which I can't show you because I don't have a bra on, it is literally long enough to be a dress now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes down my thighs now instead of right there at my belly button area. That's how friggin' swollen I was. So I'm excited. What? What, kitties? My bed's a mess. But look, they're alert. Oh, shit! That's what the... <laughs> that's... Oh, my God! You're a dead man! Oh, my God! Okay, now we know when they were alert. Y'all, this is my life. It's horrible. It's horrible. It scares me all the time. Oh, my God. Ooh. 
Shit. Okay, he really scared the crap out of me. Literally almost peed myself. <sighs> I'm gonna go get my coffee and calm down. All right, it is almost 4 p.m. and I am having six ounces of picanha and my last coffee of the day. And unless I get hungry, I don't plan on eating anything else because my new goal is to be done eating before five every day. The same with my coffee, just so I have at least five plus hours before I go to bed without eating or drinking anything other than some water just to help with any digestive issues I might have and to make it easier to sleep. All right, this will probably be the ending to my video today. Um, it is six o'clock and I have been almost falling asleep since five, since five. I am just super tired today. Um, my sleep score was less than normal. Um, I didn't wake up a lot, but I just did not feel rested when I woke up this morning. I'm not going to sleep yet. I am fighting it, fighting it until at least eight. Um, so I've been folding laundry, putting laundry away. Um, tomorrow I gotta wash some towels and stuff. Uh, did some dishes, trying to do things in the house to keep myself from falling asleep. I was gonna play my Oculus, but with my left arm hurting, I can't really do that. Um, I'm having trouble staying awake, like seriously. And it is 30 outside, so my butt ain't going out there. That's just not happening. And that's probably why I'm so tired. I'm also getting hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. I'm driving everyone crazy, but there's nothing I can do about it. That's been going on for almost two years now. So <clears throat> I think it's the weight gain. Like when I was smaller, I was freezing all the time, even in the summer. And now I am... 99% of the time on fire, 24-7, like on fire. And then I have a flash of severe heat where I just start sweating everywhere. It sucks. But anyhow, um, yeah, trying to keep myself awake. It's not working very well. Seriously. I don't know why. I don't know why today. Maybe because it was a super cold day. Um... I am just, like, insanely sleepy, like, over the top, and, like, I thought today was Saturday, I really, really did, really thought, I like, I lost a day, lost a day, I thought I had two days of rest still to come, not today and tomorrow, so, yeah, yep, <sighs> but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be a very long week. And then I'm going on strike for the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to be so exhausted. I'm not going to want to do anything. So, But uh, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. Unless I get a spurt of energy. Which I doubt. But I, I'm also very thirsty. I haven't drank water today. Because water causes me stomach issues. And I didn't feel like having any today. Even, even pH water sometimes affects me. Um, it's a gamble. It's... 70 30 is it gonna affect me or isn't it type dill um but i'm gonna drink some because i'm actually really thirsty i was just avoiding it but the amount of thirsty i am i don't think i could avoid it any longer but anyways i'll see y'all tomorrow